Hey friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to actually a week in the life winter edition. <laughs> These are super fun for me just to look back on later and um, all the memories, just little snippets of every day of the week and today actually is Sunday. So today is not quite a typical Sunday because <laughs> Sunday school actually got canceled because of the weather. So we got a bunch of snow a couple days ago and now it's raining, like freezing rain, so it's pretty icy. Last I heard, we're still on for the worship service, but not for Sunday school. So anyway, I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day. I am wearing this dress from Red Dress, actually. It's got a super wide skirt. Um, this is actually my first time wearing it. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna keep it or not. I thought I'll put it on and I'll see what Josh thinks. I'm not sure if it's super flattering or not, but I have not got a new dress for so, so long, and I really just wanna wear something new, so I'm gonna see what Josh thinks. What do you think? Would you keep it or not? I love how it has like these tiers here, and then the sleeves are not lined, but otherwise the dress is fully lined. In the back, it is um, lower, and then it kind of, comes up. I love how that adds a little bit of shape. So anyways, that is the outfit of the day. afternoon already we've just been doing all the Monday things this morning school laundry um, some planning for the week just that kind of thing I actually really love Mondays for that fact I feel like they're kind of really structured because it's all of that like prep work for the week also I don't really know what to think of my hair today 
if this is cute or if it looks kind of silly but anyways um so part of my monday routine is to meal plan for the week so i have a stash of cookbooks here and i wanted to show you some of my favorites so first up is this artesian sourdough cookbook this one is so good if you're just starting sourdough and actually the week that this video is going live i'm doing a sourdough like collab on instagram so if you're into sourdough or would like to learn more make sure to follow us over there we're doing a giveaway part of the giveaway is giving away this book so we'll be sharing different recipes it has lots of pictures all my cookbooks all my favorite cookbooks have lots of pictures in them i'm such a visual person but it shows you exactly how to make a sourdough starter and then yeah just lots of really good recipes in there so this is a great one if you're getting started with sourdough. And then my next one here is Half-Baked Harvests Cookbook. <laughs> Can you tell I like it by the amount of sticky notes in there? This again is a really fun one. And if you've seen their Instagram again, it's amazing. But she has so many pretty pictures in here. Oh my goodness, this is so good. It's the gyros with roasted garlic, tzatziki, and feta fries. So good. Anyway, so this one is another one. And then we have the Restorative Traditions by Dr. Ashley Turner. So I was at an event last fall, I think it was, that Dr. Ashley talked at. She's so knowledgeable, beautiful, beautiful pictures in it. But she, I forget what it is. I think she does not use any dairy, which y'all, I live on a dairy farm, okay? So I'm gonna use dairy in place of dairy substitutes, but I think her other one, she doesn't even use eggs. Okay, down to my last two. This one, Food from the Heart. I've had this for a while, used it like crazy. Every recipe I've tried from here, I have loved. My favorite in this cookbook is her TGIF chicken tenders. They are <laughs> um, not quite on the same scale of healthy as this cookbook is. You use crushed barbecue chips in the well where does it fall open yep there <laughs> i've had it open a lot uh, but they're so so good and then this one i actually got for christmas it's a mexican restaurant book i actually grew up eating a lot of mexican at home and we actually lived in mexico for a while so i have been having so much fun making these recipes and again it has pictures in it and a lot of just like traditional Mexican foods. So those are a couple of my favorite cookbooks. I would love to know in the comments below what some of your favorites are. This sweater, by the way, I ordered from Gumi. I think it's called Gumi Kids, but they also have women's clothes. So soft. I absolutely love the texture in it. And it's, yeah, really nice and thick and great quality. So that's what I'm wearing today. Okay, they're chomping down on their bread now and I am getting some boxes. So Love Very sent over these boxes a while, whoops, sorry, a while back and I have not yet opened them or given them to the kids. So anyway, I'm gonna take these out now. I'm always looking for um, fun activities to do with the kiddos, especially now that it's cold outside and Hang on, I can't pick this. We're always looking for more fun activities to do with the kiddos, especially now in the cold weather. So I'm excited to dig into these. Let's take them downstairs and see what the kids think. Look, Abby, what's... The puppet shows. And this one, look, this one is for Abby to learn to take her, like, Kleenexes out, I guess. For what out? It's a pretend Kleenex box. Mm. Abby, you can get this. Out. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's so fun. And then this one, I think in here, Look it at shows it. all the ways that you can use or ways to play with all these toys. Look at that. That's so fun. Are you guys going to set up your fort? Fort? What do you mean? Or not your fort, your um, theater. <laughs> How do you put down my hat? Okay, and then you go in the puppet house. Me? Yeah. All right, do you have a show for me? Let's see the show. Oh, wait, what is our show going to be? Where's its mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, where's its mouth? Oh, you got its mouth! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I got its mouth. Well, they're having fun with that. I'll put the link to Love Very in the comments below. I think it's like a subscription thing, but I'll put the info down below for you if you want to check it out. <laughs> how does how does it spray? Wednesday you guys it's been a day I'm telling you it's already five o'clock in the evening or something like that and I haven't got on here before this today so sometimes part of this week I'm like why am I even doing a week in the life I feel like it's such a mundane like just all the normal things every day same thing type of week um, we have a couple of things coming up later this week but yeah it's kind of just boring week in the life but anyway this morning was a little adventurous um, in not a very fun way so Abby I had given her some eggs for breakfast and she had um, something with eggs in it a different time but anyway I was looking online and it said you can give them eggs at six months and it's actually better to start at four to six. so I went ahead and gave her some eggs and like 45 ish minutes after she her face got like bright red and I was freaking out because I've had an anaphylactic uh, reaction before I was so scared that she was like having some severe reaction to the eggs. Um, thankfully, nothing else happened. Like she, it cleared up, but I was really scared for a while. And then, yeah, she's been super fussy the rest of the day, but she seems to be teething. So anyway, it's, um, she's hardly napped. She finally fell asleep now on our walk. And, but otherwise, every time I move, I feel like she wakes up. I cannot lay her down. So um, I'm exhausted. I did not have a great night last night either. So I'm just so tired. Um, but I do have a video to edit. Monday or Wednesdays is usually a big editing day for me. Um, so I've hardly started on this week's editing yet. So I'll probably have a late night tonight. I probably won't be on here much today. Um, I had some other things I was hoping to do today. Basically, it's just been trying to keep up with everybody all day, so that happens sometimes. Um, thankfully, there's grace for those days as well, but hoping for a better day tomorrow, so see you on Thursday. got sick so it's actually days later I had a horrible fever was 
basically completely stuck on the couch. I was so dizzy, I was really congested, no energy, yada, yada, yada. Um, I got tested for COVID, that was negative. The truth of the matter is I haven't been feeling great for a couple months now probably. I told you a while back that I was getting my hormones tested. We did a number of different tests. Couldn't figure out what in the world was going on. Um, and now I find out I apparently have sinusitis. So I'm on treatment, but the last week or two have been extra rough. I've had fevers off and on and um, just no energy. I just feel like I could collapse on the floor a lot. So that is why my week was probably as unexciting as it was. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, and with that said, if you think of me, I would appreciate your prayers that I could feel better soon. I'm hoping to be able to stay consistent on here, but it will just have to be really play by ear and what I have the energy for. So anyways, thank you so, so much for being here. I know there's a lot of new faces here. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.